everyone welcome back to another episode of Huey's Tackle uh, tonight we're going to paint this swim bait here I've already got it base coated in black or actually no this is a glide bait and, uh, here where I live we have some big shad in the rivers and lakes so I painted it this shad color here it turned out fairly good if you can see like little scale patterns and stuff in it so I'm gonna repaint another one of these glide baits you have to glue the fins in and put the tail in I kind of messed up the plastic things you put in to hold the tail in so I just use some toothpicks so next we're going to wrap the bait in this mesh I use for the scale netting so I'll be right back next I've got the bait wrapped in this mesh here and I'm going to go over it with some detail white I'm just going to spray it directly onto the bait. heat set real fast. Next I've got some pearl copper loaded in. We're gonna spray about three quarters of the way down the bait at an angle like this. It's gonna leave a little white on that belly. at it from the front it looks like it's a lot of gold when you look at it this way you really can't tell the gold zone there at the moment I think I'm gonna add just a little more gold or copper here heat set real fast again. All right, next I've got some detailed, I think it's Wicked Black Magenta. We're gonna spray this from the back at the same angle we sprayed it from the front there. Get a hold on it. Keep it straight.
load a little more wicked in here. Let's see. There we go. Darken up around the eyes, son. Think that should be good. Now we'll he set. Now I have it unwrapped, so it looks like this. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and to touch up the belly with some detail white. Sides here, some That'll be good, and I'm gonna heat set this real fast. Next, I've got some detail sepia added in. We're just gonna go over the back and stuff here, try to blend some of these colors together. I'll come down the side some here. Just spraying from the top, trying to let the overspray come down the sides. I'm gonna put some around the eyes here. Darken that up. We'll darken it back up a little more. Alright, next we'll heat set this and come back. I think we're gonna do the jet black on the back around the eyes and we'll do the fins as well. Now we got our jet black loaded in. We're gonna darken the back up and around the eyes. down the sides just a little bit here. Just kind of darken it up some. Let's 
Fairly good. Set this to the side for a second. We're gonna paint these little fins here. Set these to the side for a second. And here's another one. Shad dot. I can find my stencil. We're gonna do a bigger one on this one. And we're gonna put it right here. We'll heat set this real fast. Next, we're gonna glue these fins in. I'm gonna add a little glue here. Sorry about that, I dropped this fin. It took me a minute to find it, so I had to throw the other side in real quick before the glue set. Thought it hit the floor, but it actually fell on the crack of my seat. hardest time I've had with this one is the top one here because they don't set in like the other ones did. to the front and make sure it's in straight. Look straight. No, not no more. We're going to come in and glue the bill in. be it. Uh, now you gotta do is throw some eyes in it. Uh, this one are the best of the two. I'll put on my Etsy website if anybody's interested in purchasing it. It'll be on there. 
and I'll keep one and I'll put one on there because I'm going to use this for one of the lakes I have here. Uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some more. I've got the Mike Buses Bull Shed I was showing y'all the other day. I'm not going to paint those until my new stencils come in. I ordered for, from Anarchy. I think it's Anarchy UK. Uh, he's got some real cool stencils. So y'all stay tuned for that. Thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe.